Hello everyone. Today's video is very special where I'm going to talk to you about my journey as a quant, how I became a quant, how I got my experience, and how you can pick up the field and become a quantitative researcher or a quantitative trader yourself. So I got me started a very impressive time in the Indian market. 2010 is when I graduated from college and incidentally 2010 is the time when I got in my training actually started in training. I started reading up about quant finance, got excited about the different concepts in finance and started doing my CFA and was studying for this exam. That is when I got my first role in this field with a firm called Four Firm Capital Management, which was started by Radhika Gupta, we will rise into the end well. Over there, I got a lot of interesting algorithmic trading strategies, active in the market, algo based target trades, factor based investing, and so much more. Now, algorithmic trading is a very special part of quantitative finance. We see so much interest from so many people about algorithmic trading, right? Everybody who has access to a zero the API is trying to do algorithm on their own. Unfortunately, when I started, we literally had no such APIs. Nobody could do algorithmic trading without actually sitting at a brokerage floor. In 2013, I actually worked in the Edelweiss Algorithmic Trading Group, which was part of their institutional broking team. You know, I used to sit with a whole group of traders, 50 to 100 people who were actually trading massive client orders, needed algorithms to execute their orders. So from how to execute any small trade or, you know, any equity trade to how to execute this complex arbitrage algorithms, options, strategies, and so much more. I would talk to these expert traders, try to implement what they needed into an execution algorithm that would help us capture better spreads from the market, get a better advantage in terms of our profitability and how we could serve our drivers better. So I worked in this space for three or years. In 2016, I got really excited about joining a team where we were actually trying to make money out of the market. I joined HSBC Central Risk Group team. So this was this in Bangalore where I used to work for the European desk and we would create these quantitative strategies which work on literally billions of dollars, find different quantitative ways to invest. Definitely this was in the middle of the crazy bull market in the European market 2017, right? So we did a lot of momentum investing based on a differentiated set of factors, different price based momentum strategies. I used to work on strategies based on analysts Right, and we evaluate a huge set of analysts across the world and see how we can invest based on their the strategies. These were long short strategies, a bunch of differentiated methods we would combine, and it was a lot of fun working on these strategies. After HSBC changed the evaluations and you know, uh, the central risk book desk was shut down. I moved to structuring team where you know I would work on these large scale indices, something that would replicate like said ESG index and how we can Combine the ESG with quality to make a better strategy now. I used to have an expertise on factor investing within HSBC, which is why you hear me talking so much about factor investing. Along with working at HSBC, I did this amazing course with World Pond University, right? So this two years course is where I learned a lot of concepts on using machine learning in finance, I did research on the team models, which you will see in the market in many of our bad strategies. Now more excited to build something in India, I left HSBC to join the 32 Club, which was a US based robo advisor, which was planning to build quant strategies for the Indian market. I joined them in 2018, but unfortunately, eight months of me turning this startup shut down, and that is when I took up the challenge of building a quant investing company on my own in 2019, which is Riot Research. So unlike everyone, I started uh, my journey quant investing before the rally, which is in 2019. 2019, again, was an interesting time. We were not that crazy bull rally. We saw our strategies that I had passionately worked for the years do as expected in the market. Then the 2020 crash came, which is again a very interesting time because the risk management and strategies worked pretty well. But everything else was crashing, these strategies remain steady, we end up getting the activation for it. Then the 2020 rally happened, and since then, our momentum investing strategies especially have been really excellent. 
So we say I had a breadth of learning across different aspects of computer investing, having started from proprietary algo trading strategies to quantitative investment management. It's actually working at a large scale algo trading desk, and then you know creating these speculative strategies to take advantage of the wide global market to now advising and managing people's money in India. So while we talk about the strategy to be put in simple concepts, it is actually a multi-layered complex system. So how we are looking at data to identify stocks, to how you know we are uh, normalizing that data, to how we are selecting stocks, how we are setting different risk limits, to you know how the panel portfolio looks like, how we optimize costs. There are various aspects to this process, and you actually have to sit and validate. Every small component of it. Make sure there is no nothing wrong with the data. Make sure there is nothing wrong with the process, and validate it continuously to make sure that you're doing the best for your investors. So, fortunately for us, it's been five years. So, for five years, we have been running this point system that are now well validated that gives us immense confidence with what we offer in the market. Now, if you are an investor or even a learner who is thinking why point. Why not anything else? Why not follow along with the fundamental research side of things? Why not follow way up with the chart based the technical data? Why actually to get point? So there are various advantages of quantum wisdom. Number one, this is a purely objective process. We have created a system that can take the series for you. You can obviously optimize the system. What we do is any changes or any modification or anything that we need to implement with the system, we take a statistical call. What that means is the biases that can happen with any investment solution are removed because we are data driven, not doing everything based on statistical decisions. So you can combine multiple factors, not just look at one thing because you have uh, advantage of technology to be able to look at different data sets. Similarly, you know, unlike a traditional investor, you don't need to be limited to only a small set of stocks. So you can run your strategy on a large set of data because you are not constrained by any universe. You have the power of technology. Now, the next thing is that it's a system. If it is, you know, a well-performing system, and you have taken care of a look ahead of us, which means that making sure that you have correct historical data at the correct point in time. Then you can actually back test your system and get a lot of confidence on how your strategy performs. So let's say I have a very robust system without any biases. I can look at how it performs in terms of quality, in terms of aid, in any scenario, and see how I can improve the risk management and make it even better. But let's say if I'm looking at a bull market or a sideways market, I can see how I can modify it to take advantage of different scenarios. So a quant investing strategy with it, you can play across a lot of history, make sure that you are revising it from the best scenarios and get the best out of different scenarios, create a more reliable strategy. Now quant investing strategies is not just what right research popularly offers. There's also different aspects of it, right? So we talked about algorithmic training. Algorithmic training can also be done on mid frequency. What that means is you're training every hour, every five minutes, or you know, in shorter spans of time, to take advantage of, let's say, momentum in short terms, or in any mid emergency in short terms, or any other strategy that you might have in mind. Various people do option-based strategies using algo trading where they are selling options or you know, selling certain option structures or buying options to take advantage of the momentum or the duration. And the really advanced algo traders are sitting at the biggest broking desk for you know making the highest packages. They are trying to do very high frequency algo trading, which means they are trading in microseconds, trading in nanoseconds, you know. Uh, doing market making, taking advantage of different opportunities in the short term that are available in the market, making the market more efficient, but also make a lot of money with these strategies. Right? So algorithmic trading offers you a chance to do so much more apart from the quantity investor strategy that work. Now, what are the skill sets needed to become a quantity investor or an algorithmic trade? The number one thing that I think we need is not about technology or data skills. The thing 
the first thing that you need is to understand the market. What are the different components of the market? Understand what are the three forces that influence market returns in both your due diligence and research by understanding the markets. If you want to operate in the market qualitatively, then you need to work on these strategies. Obviously, now AI has come and it has now reducing the need for coding. But you do need a little bit of statistical knowledge to do these porn strategies. So you need to have a little bit of a background in data science. Look at how you can analyze data. Look at how you can evaluate the accuracy of a system. How you can do a testing as well as a validation for any method that you are training. If you are developing these strategies, there are porn developer or algorithm created. I think the bigger skill set that you need is in terms of how you just implement the system, validate the system and make sure they're implementing what you need that you will be. If you want to do high frequency algo trading, then that's a whole different world altogether. It's a very different coding uh, compared to what you might do at a software company because there what you're trying to do is to play fast trade. So imagine uh, not even being able to write in Python but having uh, to write in C++ or some very very basic languages which uh, will tend to run much faster. I think even in every variable, every coding set to make sure that it can act extremely fast and take advantage of the opportunity as soon as it comes, right? Obviously you don't need to know all of it. We can work with developers, you can work with data analysts, you can work with market experts. Together you can become a successful fund. Now the best font research that I have done in all my life has been at Riot Research. Riot Research is this company that I started five years ago. We want to take advantage of this growing opportunity in the Indian market, but do it statistically, do it qualitatively with an objective mindset. We think the Indian market has so many exciting opportunities going. You see momentum strategies do really well, but what we want to do is have a multi-factor focus, understand the market deeply and invest in it objectively with active risk management, make sure that our clients get the best experience and the lowest amount of risk. We use a number of interesting quant concepts, right? So we definitely do a lot of work on understanding data, understanding factors, trying to identify the best way to do momentum investing or value investing or quality investing. So doing a lot of research on that aspect going deep into the financials and data science models, using machine learning concepts to figure out the best uh, data from the wholesale data sets that we have, feature selection and so much more. Secondly, you know, what we do is a lot on the portfolio construction and optimization part. So the portfolios, you know, are not very simply constructed. You use optimization methodology, you use risk management, so you use a number of uh, constraints to make the perfect portfolio. So we do a lot of research in the portfolio optimization and then now that we have a PMS, we do a lot of work on execution also, making sure that you know the stock that are selected tend to have low liquidity, making sure that the trades that we do are low turnover, making sure that our clients are able to get the best price from the market. We also do a lot of experimentation on future and option trading. So we have some long term strategies going on on the side, some option strategies. We don't actively offer them because you know there is no structure through which you can offer them right now. But you know we do a lot of experiments and run it for a few clients to make sure that we are running these strategies and we can offer them to you somewhere in the future. Right Research is one of the leading providers of bond investing strategies in the market right now. I say this because thousands of investors are investing into our small case products and hundreds of HNIs have trusted us with their money with our TMS and we are seeing both of these things grow at a very fast pace. If you want to learn bond investing, we have now offered four courses on our website in collaboration with WBS Training, a leading global organization that has a huge set of smart people learning from their courses and one of the best set of instructors in the whole world. The first course that you will learn is about algorithmic work. A number of these brokerages, hedge points and solely proprietary traders, all of them specialize in algorithmic trading. And if you want to make your career in this field, this will provide you one of the highest paying jobs out there.
we get to work with differentiated instruments from equities to rigid options to forex to trades you can so much more right so algorithm trading offers you a wide set of opportunities you get to work with the concept of supply and demand at a very very micro scale and the course that we are offering with wps on algorithmic trading gives you a hands on training so you have instructors who will help you actually build these systems show you exactly how to start from scratch and go up to the advanced concepts on this any month lectures please do go and check out our course on how to get fit trading along with the videos now the second course that we are offering is about machine learning in finance if you follow thought leaders in the field of finance everybody is saying that the next step in the field of finance is going to be machine learning right see machine learning in finance is very different from machine learning in any other field financial data is highly complex you get access to again world class instructors who have actually written so many of the popular research papers and these guys will be the ones who will be teaching you machine learning and analysis head over to our course on our website in collaboration with the Lucas training the third course that we are offering is the quantitative developer course See honestly, I used to be a quantitative developer for a long time before I became a quantitative researcher to a portfolio investor. If you love programming and if you love to play with data and these complex algorithms, then quantitative developer course is the course for you. In this course, where you will learn how to design this high frequency system, how to do risk management better, how to make sure that your different parts of the process interact well, that you get the fastest run time. optimizing your different pipelines quality developers i think are one of the best coders out there in the world they make sure that the code is accurate because it is taking financial decisions in the smallest amount of times consistently head over to our course of quantity dc and learn more about quantitative developing now the fourth course that we are offering is again very topical in the field of finance which is the use of large language models in finance in the world of ai elements are the biggest thing and the financial markets are also looking at elements to be the source of innovation there's a lot of power of uh, unstructured data to improve our investing performance a lot of uh, you know data in terms of sentiment in terms of you know different trend flow and a lot of other active news comes from unstructured data with the use of llms you can extract this information and use it in your development strategy making it much more better what is very exciting about the the courses that we are offering is that these are courses run by global instructors on a global scale get access to these courses at a 50% discount to the global prices that was a quick overview of my journey as a quant researcher a quant developer and a portfolio researcher if you want to be a quant researcher if you actually love quant investing just as an investor I hope this video was informative for you. If you would like for us to create more such videos, please do let us know and please do write in the comments what else you would like us to talk about. Please do hit a like on this video, subscribe to our channel and share it with all of your friends.